Welcome back to MVM Live. Thank you guys for joining us here on Wednesday. We're maybe a little worn out because we did a huge stream um, over the past week. Yes, we did. So, sorry, Carrie, you're a little tall I'm a for little this tall camera. I know. This camera. I, we're, we have to use a little bit different setup today. And I'm not going to stay on this screen long. Uh, and the reason we're using a little bit of a different setup, uh, as you can see here, is because we're playing Everdell today. And this game is huge. Like, like this game is gigantic. If you can see it here spread out in front of me, uh, we've got cards and components and cardboard pieces and everything. So we had to use a little bit different of a camera setup today to, yes, we did. to adjust for the size of this game uh, and the fact that there's a giant tree. So if things look a little weird, it is because we're using things a little differently than we normally do. Yeah, exactly. But, That's okay, though. But we're going to power through yep. and survive. So... Pearlbrook. Yeah, Pearlbrook. We've been Brook. excited, so we had someone recommend uh, a request that we play Everdell on the stream, and then we thought, well, Pearlbrook will be coming soon, so we'll ask Brenna yeah. if we could play Pearlbrook, and she said yes, and here we are. This is fantastic. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of Gen Con stuff. Yes. Um, some of you, I, I recognized a lot of comments on our Saturday all day long yeah, marathon. Yeah, thank you so much for everyone for tuning in. So before we get too far along, though, we want to make sure that we let everybody know yes. about... Our winner for Bargain Quest. Bargain Quest. Congratulations, Martin Gardner the second. You won Bargain Quest. So. Email us at man versus meeple at gmail.com and we will get that on its way to you. Yeah, and if you are on this list and you haven't emailed us, or if you know that you won maybe on that Saturday live stream and you haven't emailed us yet, uh, please do so. We want to get you your free games so that you can start enjoying them. So awesome. Well, uh, this is Pearlbrook. Um now, I do want to say that the, one of the benefits of, of having this weird camera set up and having this giant game is you can actually see more of our game topper, which normally you can't see yeah. very much of. Well, what's really great, too, is that if uh, you haven't checked out Game Toppers, our wonderful presenting sponsor, they are on their last day on Kickstarter right now, and they've got all these beautiful mats that they've done. They've got new table stop, new mat holders. There's so many wonderful things we can't go through on the stream. We highly recommend you yeah. check them out. We've put a link in our description for you if you are interested. But definitely want to say thank you. And you get to see us play on a larger part of the surface today and why we love this table so much. So yeah. why don't you dive in Oh, dive and in. tell us you know what? more. I've been using that pun a lot, all those of you who follow us on social media. This is the I second, don't even care. This is the second diving game we've played. We played yes. Refuge Tear from the Deep not too long ago. We made a ton of diving references. There's a theme thing trending. We're going to make a bunch more diving references today. Just going to say dive a lot, probably. Right. So why don't we Let's just dive get in. into the rules, um, Ryan? Yeah, so if, for people that are familiar with Everdell, a lot of this is going to look familiar to you. Um, this is a uh, kind of a card drafting resource management tableau building game. Uh, the reason we needed all this space here that looks empty right now is this is going to be filled with cards as we build out our tableau. We're going to be putting these cards face up in front of us. We're going to build up to a maximum of 15 cards into our little city here. Um, and we're going to do that by coming out here to these worker placement spots, gathering resources, and building these cards. Now, um, we do have a variety of achievements available at the top that we can um, compete for. And normally they're up here on this tree. I'm probably going to move these just because they're very difficult for us to see up there on the tree. Okay. Um, so we have four achievements that we can compete at, uh, complete at any time. And we have, uh, like I said, cards to draft and then goals that we can complete. Now, in the basic game, you've got these little cardboard tokens for these goals. Uh -huh. But for the expansion here, we have uh, cardboard cutout standee things, which They're are super cute, which are super cool. You can kind of see my little bridge here. There you go. So yeah. I'm really excited. And these have different costs now, but and, and things are a little different. But the biggest difference with Pearlbrook is uh, Pearlbrook itself, which is this new board that's added on here. And in addition, we have a new kind of worker. It's a amphibian frog. Hi, friend. Our frog can only go to frog spots. And he's our he's our ambassador. Our, our amphibian ambassador, our frog mm -hmm. ambassador, yeah. To the Denzians of Pearlbrook who live here under the ocean. Um, and we can only take our frog to these spots, and our frog can only go to these spots. But when it does, we can dive down here and collect a pearl and meet a den denizen or find a location that exists underwater. There's a whole stack of these cards. You only use four every game. So you're, you're not going to quite know exactly who is waiting for you under the water. Just like these location spots here are random and these titles are random, 
um, that's our achievements are random. That's gonna be random as well. So. Very good. Well, um, want to say very quickly much. hello to all of everyone in the chat. Thank you for joining us. We see uh, we've got Brenna from Starling Games oh, well, in the hello, chat. Brenna. Hi, Brenna. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Andrew, no pressure now. Andrew is in the chat who joined us on Saturday. Uh, I know I saw a few other people uh, that we know, and so thank you. If I haven't, if I'm not catching you, we we do see your comments, and thank you so much for for joining us today. Yeah, uh, I think yeah. I even saw Kevin Grote in the chat. Oh, hi Kevin. Hi nice Kevin. Nice to see you. Uh, and from MVM. So, uh, and Jeremy is on the chat as well. I believe uh, might be popping in like normal. So, here we go. All it's right. Everdell. All right. So this is kind of a uh, a weird combination of action selection and worker placement because placing one of your workers is one of the actions you can take on your turn. You can also complete uh, or build one of these cards from the tableau. You can build a card from your hand. You can uh, dive. You can complete one of your uh, adornments. This is new for Probrook. Everybody gets two adornments. James is also in the chat, the designer. Oh, hi, James. Hi, James. I got to meet James at Gen Con last year. I mean, it was a lot of fun. He's a great guy and designed a great game. So great. hopefully we're doing it justice here. Um, like I said, I, I wish I could have like six different camera angles yeah, on this thing to it's highlight it. such a beautiful it, game. Just you need to play it yourselves, but we will do our best to showcase it best. for you today. And I do want to mention, of course, we are using the uh, collector's edition of Everdell yes. here. So we got some of the upgraded Fancy components, stuff. including these amazing berries and these uh, victory point coins that we have out here. And if you're like me, when your Kickstarter uh, edition arrives of Pearlbrook, it's going to have a wooden tree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which I'm super excited And about. so I think maybe you could possibly some get some upgraded stuff. components yeah. and things like that. Well, Not like these good. components need to be upgraded. They're already fantastic. They are. Anyway. Okay, all right, take your so turn. I've already determined randomly that I'd be the first player. So I have five cards. Kira has six. And I don't know what I want to do. Now, um, these spots here, they have two spaces, but in a two-player game, only one of them is available. Could have marked them off with something, but I didn't have anything to block them off with. So, all right, I'm gonna go over here and take a barrel, or a barrel, a berry and a pebble and a card. And that's my whole turn. Okay, I'm going to do something very similar, I think. Um, I would like to do, let's see, I wanna get a resin, these resins. Two resins? Yes. Nice. All right. Just how big the table is. I know. This, well, this board is, is, this game is big. So there's no, there's no real, no real way around that. But you know, we're going to, we're going to manage with yeah, it. Yeah. Right. Like, so it's just, it's just a huge game. You should see the way we have to have these cameras set up here to really, to really The camera is actually like, yeah, see like, my hand? Hi. The camera is over here behind us today. It's, it's weird. It's very it's strange. Weird, it's different, but I like it. Um, <laughs> I can see your head on the camera. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, Sorry, we made some adjustments. We're getting yeah, used to I mean, them. Yeah, we, we have to. Yeah, anyway. So, so what are you going to do? All right, I'm going to build a card. So I'm going to return this pebble back in, and I'm going to build a crane. Uh, whenever I play a construction in the future, I can discard this to build it for three fewer resources. So I'm excited about that. I like this crane. I like that it kind of sets me up for the future. So, mm -hmm. all right. You're up. Oh, goodness gracious. Do I... Let's see. I could use some berries. Can I? Can you put me in the berry yeah, card, you place? Want the berry card. Yes. And then. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, we could probably move those cards too. I just wanted. That's okay. the, I wanted the, the, to see it in its full glory. On it's the in its full glory. Maybe All we right. sh can we can we zoom in a little bit and cut now that everybody's seen it so they can see the board a little bit better. Or is that too much well, work right now? No, we can do a little bit Let's of that. that. We, can, we can zoom in a little bit, but we also don't forget we have our tableau that we have to have down here. So right, I think you can see a little bit better now. Yeah. 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 Well, we have our. So you can see I've got one card down here in the tableau. So we're going to do our best to make sure you guys can see the components. Cool. I mean, there's a lot to see here. So we'll, well explain. I can do this now. Oh, yeah. Ooh, so it's, ah, it's, it's a little way blurry. Too, way too yeah. close to the camera. Okay. Focus doesn't like that. <laughs> Experimental. We'll see. We might never do this kind of camera angle again. Probably not. I'm going to guess it, probably we're not. We're experimenting. All right. It's All right. your turn. So uh, I've only got one worker left. I can still keep playing cards, but I don't know. What do I want to do here? I'm going to discard my crane when playing a construction. I may discard it to play a construction for three fewer or less resources. And this lookout only costs three. So I get to play that for free, basically. Interesting. Yeah, that's kind of the the meat of the game is finding these combos trying to trying to take the least amount of worker placements 
and trying to spend the least amount of resources when you do things. So I think I want to go and venture into Pearlbrook. All right, so you have to have a certain number of cards in your tableau. In my tableau. And not just in your hand. They have to be out okay. in front of you. Well, it's to too early there. then. So I don't have... Yeah, it's a little too early to explore. Well, I can't put my worker out. I can't play any cards right now. So well, my you can other... always put your worker out, right? Oh, you have two I have out two already? two out already. So I think I have to... Have to pull back? I have to go to... Sp I have to be done with spring. All right, so... When you move in, uh, technically we're starting, so you move into spring. Every time you uh, rest, which this is a player controlled turn structure, you get to rest whenever you want when you pull all your workers back. So Kira gets to pull all her workers back. Thank you. And she gets her bonus worker from the top of the tree. Yay. Now, if you have any green production cards out in front of you, they would produce at this point, um, which I don't think you do and I don't either. So, awesome. I don't know what I want to do here. I could go through the Haven, but that's my last worker spot. I'd really like to get some green cards out. I see the storehouse, but it costs one of each. I have a, don't have any of those resources. All right, everyone deal with me for a second. I'm going to try right. to fix something. I'm going to copy a basic forest action and copy this one again and take this and this and a card. Mm. Let's try to see if we can make it a little less light. It's like when we flipped the play I button, know. it got lighter. It was not this light I when know. we started. It's technology. We oh, well. we'll I have tried. To, we'll have to deal with it. I, mean, I tried. Is, okay. This is the downside of going live. Um, there's some things I could do to try to fix it, but... I That's all right. Know. All right, so it's my turn now, right? Yep. I'm already into my spring. Let Ryan work his magic while I do this. So I've got these fancy little cards. I don't have any pearls yet, so I can't use those. I really, really, really need more stuff let's see i need at least one of these i need at least one of these sure i'm gonna go ahead and build no i'm not i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna grab three woods yeah i mean we're doing oh well it's you know what you can still kind of i should be sort of the tell what's going on here so uh, i'm gonna spend a stone to build this crane into my tableau. And then we're gonna get a replacement card out here, the post office. Okay, I'm just gonna go fix this light. This is bugging me because it's too washed out. It seems too pretty for this. Okay. Kira has to, yeah, we're gonna fix the light. It's a little washed out. Is that better? No, that's worse. Sorry guys, we could hit the technical difficulty screen. Oh, that looks pretty good. But we're not going to hit the technical difficulty screen because we appreciate you guys. Being patient with us. I just want the game to look Yeah, I mean, great. there's that a lot much There's a lot going in going into this right now, so okay. we do apologize. We I you know, took us several hours to get the right camera angle. Um, okay. it's fine. It I got better, right? It does look better. I think it look, hopefully people at home think it looks better. If not, we're going to talk you through it. You can still see what we're going to do, and I still think the quality is pretty okay. good. It's okay. not as good as we normally maybe have on a live stream. But All right. I lost track of what that. I was doing because well, I was distracted. Well, I just distracted. did my turn, so it's you're up. Okay, I'm up. You just I've rested, got, and you got a ton of resources. I've got all the stuff now. Oh, you went and got wood. Is I that right? did go and get wood. So did you go? Uh, That's what I was doing when you got when I got up, so you could take your turn. Sorry. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I built this. Yeah, you I did. I built a crane. You got wood. That's super duper. All right. all right. Why don't we go ahead and build this lovely little farm? All right, and then that's going to gain you a uh, berry. Yay for a berry. And then a berry again whenever you hit a production phase, which woot you, woot. Can, you can kind of see the top of the tree. We have several production phases uh, in a game. All right, what do I want to do? I'm going to destroy this crane to build this storehouse, which also costs three, so it also becomes uh, free. Oh, but this doesn't produce anything. Nothing out there produces anything, and nothing <gasps> in my hand produces anything. Uh-oh, you better draw something then. That was unfortunate. I bet this is going to be a production card. Well, if you have at least two pearls, gain two resources. I don't. So, I don't have any of that. <laughs> All righty. Let's see, what am I going to do next? So, I've still got some good stuff here. Isn't there a way we can get rid of cards? We must discard equal to points. Yep. So I could if go here and just... Here, you can discard any card from your hand. 
Um, Miss, any Ooh, yeah. cards you get Let's one resource that. for every two cards you discard. I want to do that. So why don't we go ahead and get rid of some of these? I know I'm not going to use. Um, so, you're just, so that's one set. And then I'm going to do two. Two sets. All right. And I want stone. Does it say which resource you I can, can get? Have? And you can get two because you discarded four I'll cards. I'll take two stones, two stones then. Thank you. Or pebbles. Pebbles. I think they may be called pebbles. I don't know. Something like that. Um, well, I made this. I brought this green one without really looking at it. It doesn't do what I thought it did. Oh, it placed. Okay, place three wood, two, or one or two berries. I'm gonna put three wood on it. I see what it what it does, and then I have to go there to take these resources. So I'm going to put three wood on there, under my storehouse. All right, um, I'm going to rest, so I have to do the same thing. So my two guys are going to come up, this guy's going to come to me, and we're going to do a production. The only thing that produces for me is this, and I'm going to put two resin on there. So that is my turn, um, doing all that. Okay, so if I want to go into this fabulous place, I need three of these, three or of those green ones. Two, two or two or two. two yep. I'm not quite there yet, so I need more resources. Where can I go and get a variety? I want to go over there Here? and get a, a pebble and a berry. Yeah, that's a pretty good and one. And a card. A pebble, a berry, and one card coming out of the tree. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. What do I want to do Out now? of the ever tree. I want to come here and get all these resources from my storehouse, so I'm going to or maybe I wait. No, I'm going to come get them. I'm going to come and take all these resources out of my storehouse. Yay. Now I've got things to play with. Yay. I got yeah, but this I is not... About. I don't love what I've got here. I don't have two pearls. Interesting. All right. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, you're still taking your turn. Nope, I'm done. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and play this card. Oh, the shopkeep for two berries? Mm-hmm. All right. And you're going to gain one berry every time you play a critter. That's the kind of engine building that you're going to see in this game. I yes. wish I had some of that engine building. All righty. I don't. Maybe I want to build this post office. All right, I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend one and then two resin to build a post office. This post office is an open building, so I'm going to put this little open thing in front of it. Anyone can go there, including you. Uh, it says, give an opponent two cards, then discard any number of cards, and draw back up to your hand limit, which is ten cards. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Now, does this refill? Uh, it's going to refill, yes, with a castle. One victory point at the end of the game for every common construction in your city. Hmm. All right, that's me. I've got my post office out. All right. Yeah, I wish, maybe tap the thing to make sure it focuses a little bit, the screen. Okay. Or right, I can probably do it. Every time we, every time we move anything around, it kind of gets out of focus. So there we go. There we go. Much better. Okay. Let's get out of focus. All right. I think maybe we're good. Sorry, right. Brenna. I know you're watching. You're like, this game is beautiful. It needs to be seen. For sure. All right. So okay. that was me. I put the post office. Now this is open. I love mm -hmm. these open signs. You don't have to crane your head trying to look at everyone's cards to see what's open or not. So. All righty. I'm pretty much out of options at this point. I think. Um, you got a lot of cards out here you could potentially build. I do. You're not wrong. Okay, let's see. What do I have? I could do... I've got only that. I've only got that. I have a couple I could build. I have one I could build. <laughs> and that's this one here. So... For one, oh, that's not a bad one. That's I'll another open building. That. What does that one do? Name a non-green card and draw four. If any of the drawn cards match the name card, gain three victory points. Oh, and you draw four cards. Yep, when you go to this location. Yeah. That means anybody can go to it, like what he was yeah, saying. Yeah, I think I'm going to go to it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it which up is here. A, which kind of is a double-edged sword because I do give you a victory point for going to it. So, All right, I'm going to name I'm going to name Postal Pigeon and then draw four cards. One, two, three... Four. Come on, Postal Pigeon. I got no such thing. Well, that's unfortunate. But I do have cards in my hand now, so that's good. And we're going to get a replacement card out here. A fairy. Copy any revealed river destination. Interesting. All right. 
All right, I'm going to have to go into summer. All right, so uh, during the summer, you're gonna pull your people back. Thank you. You're gonna get your extra guy, and then you get to take any two cards from the meadow at this point. That's All your right. summer bonus. I would like this guy here, and... Maybe I'll get that postal pigeon. This guy here. Come on, postal pigeon. So I picked up Shipwright. a fairy. And cemetery. A fairy. Oh yeah, you guys might and notice a uh, castle. some new cards out here too. I don't know if I mentioned this, but this uh, purple book also comes with a whole new set of cards that get shuffled into your base set mm -hmm. and then used during the game. So. All right. All right, so I'm going to, now that I have two paws, I'm going to go diving into Pearl Brook. So I'm going to come over here and take this. Um, so every time you dive, you the first person to dive gets the pearl, and then we're going to discover that location. Can you flip over and let's see what it says? It says, gardens, location, play one coin and one berry to draw three and gain one pearl. Oh, see, unfortunately, I don't have any coins. Hmm. I need you to come to my post office so I can get a coin and go do that. Oh, so, is that so? But my guy is still there blocking, so nobody's going to get to go there until I uh, refresh back to summer. Okay. Which I'm not ready to do. Are these? These are yours, right? Those are the spent? that I spent, yes. Um, all right. I'm going to go. Nice. I really need resources. Yeah, me too. And I was supposed to gain. Uh, you'll get it during autumn. Only during, during the production autumn. phases, right. which are spring and autumn. Okay. Yeah. So making sure I didn't miss something. I need three wood. Where's the messenger? Draw one. Oh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pay. Was there a bridge out? Oh, there is a bridge out. Mm hmm I don't have a stone. I need some stone. Or a pebble. Sorry. I'm almost up to my 10 card limit here. Uh-oh. You know, I'm going to come here to the haven. Let's get some things I don't want out of here. One, two, three. Four cards. I've got four cards discarded to gain two resources. I want to get, let's just say two stone out of that. Very right. nice. That's me. Very, very nice. Down to three, uh, no, well, on these two. All right. Which I definitely didn't want to get I would right also now. really like some stone. There's not an easy way to get a lot of stone. No, but this location is open. It's not a closed ring, so any it number is. of players can go here, just for the record. But I'm going to go to where... I can get a little bit of everything. Can you put me where I can get a berry, a stone, yeah. and a card, please? That's a good spot. It is. So those spots are random. We're, we generate these forest locations with a whole deck of cards. So you don't exactly know what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. And then in a four-player game, you're going to have your fourth spot taken as well. All right. So I'm going to, now that I have that, I'm going to spend two wood and a stone to build this bridge. I've got a loose wood there. All right. Let's look. There we go. All right. Increase your hand size by one for every pearl you have. Draw two cards every time you gain a pearl. Well, that would have been nice okay. to have a minute. You want to refill that for us? I do. And then. The university. So there's a few things that are hard to get. They're meant to be yeah. a little bit more of a difficult resource to get for good reason. I'm going to go here and yeah, get resin. Yeah, resin is a tough one. Resin, you could. Yeah. There's not really another spot except for here two cards and one resin, but getting two resin at a time is really nice. All right. This bridge can house a messenger for free. So I'm going to take this messenger and I'm going to close my bridge. It has a messenger already living in it. Uh, messenger draws me one card and gains me one of these victory points. Very nice. I'm going to play a critter for two berries, which will gain me one berry back. So I'll put that back in the supply. Okay. Thank you. Back to you. Yeah, oh, and I place. get this only happens. This happens immediately, right? Gain two for each farm in my city. That's yep. How many farms? You have one farm. One so farm. Get two. So gain two Look at that, guys. What was I looking for earlier? The postal pigeon, and here he is. Postal he has pigeon. Flown to me. So I'm taking the he postal has pigeon. Flown to you. He has flown to me. Now what I'm doing? Why I'm doing this is because the postal pigeon looks for the post office. The post office looks for the postal pigeon. If I have this, I can put the postal pigeon into the post office. Now. It still takes up one of my 15 slots, but I don't have to pay the cost for it. Yeah, All right. Reveal two cards. You so may pay one too, worth right? up to three for free. Discard the other. I'm supposed to have these on this as well, right? Um, only if you've used them. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. 
It's been a minute. So I'm going to reveal uh, the courthouse and the, uh, uh, I see. the twig barge. Read the rest of the details on the messenger, Ryan. It says, reveal two cards. So I've revealed two. You may play one worth up to three victory points for free. Discard the other. So twig barge goes. Courthouse is going to come out here into my tableau. Great. Okay, this next says, thing's oh, next. And this one says gain one resource uh, after you play a construction. Uh, I really like this one. I'm going to go ahead and get this one out. The For fairy. two and two. Copy any reveal. The fairy will allow my frog ambassador only. That's the icon that's located on here. And if I can do my best to... Show it, it's green here in the center. And a little frog print. So the frog ambassador, now that I have not built enough stuff to go out here up until just now, I can now copy and just do it from here if it's yeah. been revealed, which is wonderful. Which, yeah, which that one has, the, the caverns. Mm -hmm. All right, you don't have any pearls, do you? I don't, but I'm thinking about getting some here I pretty quick. Reveal. I want you to have some pearls. Do we see the judge? Is the judge sitting out here somewhere? Uh, the bard is nice, but I don't have enough to pay for him. I could get a juggler. I'm not really interested in a juggler. I really don't want to pass my turn. No. But I'm out of guys, so I guess uh -oh. I'm going to have to. So get your this guys. This guy's coming back. This guy's coming back. That, so I'll have three for the next round. My amphibian will come back. So this is location. Now that it's been explored, anyone can go there, even if you don't meet the requirements. So he's going to come here, and then I'm going to take two cards from the middle. But I do now. <laughs> All right, let's take this university and how about a harbor let's do that a fairy ferret looks like he wants to live in a fairy a fairy ferret oh, i don't have a fairy but i think you do so that's I, good news i do for have you. a fairy but he works specifically with the fairy with, with the fairy with, fairy. The with the ambassador that's true so let's see I would like. However, the ferret fairy does want you to have two pearls. Uh, I would try to race you to him, but I don't have a fairy, so that's not going to happen. I need some berries. Um, well, there's a couple spaces out to get them, or you could always go to the haven and discard your extra cards. That's true. I think I might do that because these are not really doing a whole lot for me. Let's see, I have. Well, this one is. I might keep this one. I'll go here and I'll get rid of these two. And I'll take a resin, please. All right. Do I have two? I have two blues. So I'm going to dive. I'm going to dive here. So I'm going to take this pearl. Now this says whenever I gain a pearl, um, draw two cards. So I'll take two cards. And then let's reveal what that location is. What is what do we got there? We have Christina. The constable. Oh, She's nice. a citizen. Reveal and discard two of Blue the cards. scrolls yep, from, your from your hand to gain one coin and one pearl. Boy. I cannot do that, unfortunately. I played them both out here. That's unfortunate. Oh, yeah. Don't forget your worker from my card. I didn't even oh, see yeah. him still sitting oh, there. thank you. And then also... I just played him. Oh, you did. It's, I just played him. <laughs> you so did just still... play him. I got all... No, I'll take back. I'll never take mind, back. never mind. Um... Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and, just because I don't want to reach, I'm going to go ahead and copy this one. I'll pay one and a berry yep. to draw two, wait, sorry, three, and gain a pearl. Three cards? Yep. I need to get a pearl. And a pearl. Nice. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to, this doesn't cost me anything. It's a pirate ship. Whenever I build a construction, I may get a resource for free. I'm going to get, what do I want? I think wood, I'm gonna get wood. All right, that's me. All right, I'm gonna have to go into autumn now. Oh, wow. I need going all my workers autumn? back. Alrighty. Yep. All right, going into autumn. Thank so you. during autumn, you get two more workers Yay. And all of your green things are going to produce again. So I'll gain a berry. Yep. I'll gain two wood for each farm in my city. Which is two. Very nice. Very good. All right. 
Uh, let's see. We're starting to be able to. We're starting to lose a little bit of my city here, but it's okay. It's all right. I'll I'll move my things. I don't have any of these. Um, How about me? Because I I'm I'm unable. There's one to for a very fair here. I can I can just pass this over yeah, to you. Yeah, let me look. Think you have any of those? Thank you. Potential things. So this is the tax relief three, and I don't have that. I don't have three coins. Ancient spots discovered when achieved reveal five cards. Yeah, historian ruins. I haven't even yep. seen a historian. Sunken treasure. That's pirate and crane. Yep. Ferret and fairy ferret and twig barge. All which right. I don't have. I. It's too bad. So yeah, I don't have any of those either. Those are not spots right. I'm going to anytime soon. All right. I'm going... Eight card limit, by the way, not oh, ten. Oh, eight card. Um, well, I have not broken that rule. Um, actually, mine is 12 because of this bridge. All right, so don't forget about your fairy ferret. You could... You have the fairy ferret, potentially. You just need the twig barge. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, is it out? He's been, yeah, the fairy the, ferret. I have the oh, fairy the, ferret, oh, the twig you, barge. Oh, okay. Um, all righty, let's go to the next thing that I want to do. So let's go and get some resin. So I could use some more resin. Okay. Got all these workers. I need that. I need resin and oh, I need a resin and a wood. Hmm. Where can I get a resin and a wood? You've got. You've got one pearl. I do. Uh, and that victory spot just gives me one. That one I can't even go there. My guy's blocked. Mm -hmm. Here we go. The peddler. I can spend two. Oh, then I have nothing left. The peddler wants to live in the ruins. Ah, I have so many combos I could build half of. What are the rest of the cards I need here? I'm just going to do this the old-fashioned way. Um, oh, that's any one resource. You know what? I'm going to... Give you this Don't forget about your these cards, too. Oh, that's true. Maybe one of these gives me resources. Oh, this one does give me resources. Look at that. I'll spend a pearl um, back up here to the... Uh, <laughs> oh, it's lost. Uh, the lost is, pearl. Gain three resources, a victory point, and two cards. So what three resources do I want? I want a, two wood and a resin. That's what I want. All right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play a new location. It's a castle. It's a castle. I'm going to do two wood. So I got to discard a card. Three here. resin. Two, three, there we go. And oh, wait, no, three stone. I'll just put it over there for now. Wow, that's a lot. What, you, you built the castle? I built a castle. That's nice. That's a good one. Tis, tis, tis. All right, I'm going to spend one... Resin, one stone, and one wood to build the mine. This is a construction. When I build a construction, I get a resource back. I will get a resin back, and then this mine gives me a stone. Okay. What to do next, I wonder? I'm not seeing the things I need to, to really set up my combos here. I feel you on that, sir. I feel you on that. I'm thinking... I could build this harbor potentially. I'm thinking that I'm thinking too long, but what I'd Probably. like to do is gain some fabulous resources. Um, why not take me to bury in a card and a stone? Yeah, that's a good one. Seems that like been hard used to pass up. A lot. It's helping me. Kind of spread out a little right. bit. I don't. I hate to do this. I'm just gonna come over here and just hard cast to get three wood. Hard. What am I playing? Magic the Gathering. All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna straight up get three wood. Straight up, he says. Straight up, just get the three wood. I'm not using any tricks to get resources right. right now. I'm gonna go ahead and gain a berry and a card, please. A berry and a card. Thank you very much. All right, I'm going to build this harbor. It's gonna cost me three wood, a resin, and a stone. It says if you have two pearls, you get a bonus. I don't, I spent my other pearl to play that adornment, which I really needed tisk, to do, tisk. so it's fine. I build a construction, when I build a construction, I get a resource back, let's take a resin. 
All right. I'm gonna build. I'm gonna bring out my fairy ferret for three berries. Oh, actually, he's free. Remember, because the fairy. Oh, that's right. I get to keep my three berries. The... All right, and then um, that's it. You release two pearls, gain two victory points. No. Yeah. Well, Probably you should get another pearl. Maybe I should hold on to him, huh? Maybe instead I should go. Well, what can you, I? What do you need to explore? You need one more vagabond type. Oh, you don't have any vagabond Yeah. Types. So this it's fine. I'm okay, okay with it. He's free. Yep. That's He's true. here. He's free. He's here. All right. Got it. So I have the harbor. The harbor lets me play the ship. Counter spell. What am I missing? Free. Counter spell. I think they're joking about your magic. Probably because I was talking about hard casting earlier. <laughs> It's a very magic term. It's because they're che you're cheating. I All need right. a counter spell for your Ship cheating. Shipwright lets me play the harbor. Or my shopkeeper yes. activates too. Your shopkeeper. Oh, because I played a critter. I'll take a berry, please. Oh yeah. Thank you, Brenna. See, Brenna's keeping you honest. Ryan is getting too ready to play his Badger of Perpetual Points card. I wish. Infinite points. I've been sitting on this general store forever, but you got the shopkeep and the farm. I, I do. haven't seen another one. I'm wondering why I'm holding on to this card. Is there a doctor in the house? There's no doctor either. Hmm. This is all very unfortunate. Hmm, indeed. I wish I had more than one amphibian. All right, what do you got? I think I'm going to go here. Discard some cards. And I know this seems crazy. Let me get rid of all of these. And I'm going to take... Let's see, what do I need that I don't have? I'm going to get two resin. So I'm discarding these okay. and taking, oh, I've got resin right here, two resin. All right. I'm going to play the pirate for free because I have the pirate ship. So he's going to move into the pirate ship. I have 12 cards. I get three more here. Uh, discard up to four cards to draw up to four cards. If the total value of my drawn cards is seven or higher, I get... Uh, one pearl. So I'm going to discard one, two, three. I'm going to discard these four cards. And I'm going to draw four more cards. Very one, nice. One, two, three, four. Let's get to see a point value of seven. Zero. Zero. Not off to a great start. One and zero. Ha! You get... So you Far get. from seven. Far from seven. All right. I'm going here. We've got a new location revealed. This is Gus the Gardener. Everyone, welcome Gus, new citizen. Reveal and discard three uh, green, green from the hand to gain one coin and one pearl. Awesome. Oh, and you, have, you just got a second pearl, right? I did. Perfect. I'm going to sail my pirate ship over to you. So That's some crap. When I, when I move this pirate ship, he comes to you now. He's now your pirate ship. When I do so, um, I gain one a resource and one victory point. Per every pearl you have. So I'm going to get two victory points and two resources. So you're not taking my pearls. No, that's what I like about this pirate. Like, you're not actually stealing from them, but you are, you still have to interact with the other player. You still have to watch and wait for them to get the pearls before you can do it. Uh, what do I want for resource? Uh, resources? Usually the discard pile should be face down. Oh, is it supposed to be face down? Yes. Sorry, sorry to everybody. And thank you, Brenna, for the reminder. That's, that's fair. Uh, what do I want? I want... A wood and a stone. I got my two victory points already. Wood and a stone. Oh, I forgot all about those achievements up there. Mm -hmm. Man. What do we have? Any of them yet? Uh, three wood, three resin, three pearls, three stone, two, 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 three, two, 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 and... And that's to pay that. Yes. Okay. I you might... might have more. I might probably be able to have some. Let's see. I have three wood, four berries, two resin, and one stone. So the only one that, uh, the gate, that's worth 10 points, is one wood, one resin, one stone, and two pearls. Two pearls. And discard two cards. I'll do that. Sure. All right, so you'll put your guy there, and then take the gate. One. One. Yep, stone. One stone. And two pearls. Two pearls. And then you get to take the gate and, and put it in your city. And it goes into my city. Ta-da. Ta-da. That's good. I didn't even I forgot all about those. I don't have two pearls, and I can maybe get another pearl. All right, so I built the, um, or I didn't build it yet. I'm gonna play out the ruins for free. Discard a construction from your city, gain resources equal to that construction's cost, and draw two cards. 
I'm going to get rid of, I want something that costs me, that gives me no points. I don't do these have count as cards that you discard? They don't, don't correct? Do Those do not count, no. Okay. Doesn't hurt to ask. Um, well, that's not a really a good thing to do. You know what? Let me... I don't have two stone. Wow, I'm all kinds of messed up here. I've still got two workers, though. I'm just not even into summer yet. Or to, to autumn yet. I need to mm -mm. hurry through this. All right, I'm going to take um, two cards and any one resource. So I'll take two here. And I'll take... Actually, that's stupid. I'll go here and take three and a stone. Because what I need is a stone, actually. All right, that's me. Okay, I'm going to name a non-green card color and draw four. If any of the drawn match that named card color, gain three victory yeah. points. What are you going to name? I'm going to name... Let's see, what do we got out here? I'm going to name blue. No, it's a specific card. No, card color, I'm sorry. Card color. Yeah, blue. Sorry. Any Nothing! Blues? It was a bet at the end. Yeah. All right. No, you get to keep the cards. Do I? You draw four. Oh, okay. Just so draw four cards. Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm out of guys. Are you really? But you're not out of cards, so you can still oh, that's make true. things happen. That's true. That's I'm, true. I've still got guys left. <gasps> I might have to rush through this. Oh, last this is going to work great. All right. So I'm going to spend two stone, uh, and play the cemetery for free. I'm going to bring out um, the husband, and I'm going to spend three, but I'll gain one for playing a critter. Yep. Nice. And I gain one if I'm paired with a wife, which I am not. But you, yeah, nope. Nope. All right, um, I'm going to place a guy into the cemetery, reveal four cards from the deck or discard pile, and play one for free. Discard the others. Let me look at the top four of the dis. No, let me look at the top four of the deck. <laughs> and play one of these for free. Oh, wow. I'm definitely, look at that. I finished Queen. faster than you. Yeah, you did. I'm playing the queen. You haven't even gotten your guys yet. No, I, I haven't. I'm about to, though. And we'll rush through it. That's the one thing with this game. It is completely player-controlled when you end. Mm -hmm. But once you get up to 15 cards, you're basically done anyway. And I only have 13, so I'm only going to get to play two more cards. Um, so. All right. Your turn. And the husband can be played for free. I didn't have to pay for him. Oh, you have the That's right. farm? I so do. Lock, yeah, put him in the farm. My apologies, right. oh, and thanks for the reminders. Right. Now, if only I could find two more berries. Are there anything berries? up there that I can play that's three, three, four, or anywhere below four berries? Um, play another fairy ferret. That doesn't help the me. The juggler is two. You can pay three wood or four victory points to reveal one card from the deck. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, that's a whole thing. Bard may discard five cards to gain one victory point right? each. Uh, you're going to gain one victory point for each uh, purple card in your city at the end of the game. Uh, and where is that designated? On uh, it's here? got a little like the little icon. Little icon. Cool. I'm going to. Is it my turn or are you yeah, still going? I'll go ahead and play that card. The shipwreck. Yep. And you're going to get one of these back. Or is that that's a critter? Critter. So you're going to get. Oh, one it back. is. Nice. Yay. Yeah. See, that's the that's the beauty of those combos. Let's refill it. Yeah. Come on. Give me a doctor or something. Judge. I like that. I'm going to take the judge because I have a courthouse. So the judge is going to lock up here. And my shopkeeper activates. Oh, I did. I got my, I got my, I got my berry. Yep. All right. All right. So that's back to you now. That's the problem. So would I, I would have gotten this one for each in my city right away, right? One, two, which, which, three. Which one? This one. I would have gotten three victory points. That's at the end of the game. Oh, it is? Yep. Okay. All the purple uh, ones. It was just the green ones. All right, that I took that. that judge. All right. I have two wood. I have a resin, and I have a berry. Can I do anything up there? Two, two wood, wood, a, a resin, resin, and a, a berry. berry. Um, no stone? I have two wood and a, and a resin. What's that in? Oh, yeah. Uh, you may play a critter construction from the meadow for three fewer, and anyone can go there. Okay, so... So that means I could potentially go there. You could. And give you a victory point, which I might do. That's okay. another open one, so I'm going to... That's a open common that. construction. Open. Put it here. And chip sweep. All right, I have to pull my guys back, which I know you already did. Uh, and then my green things are going to go. 
So this thing I'm going to put. Yeah, there's a there. lot to think about. And reading your comments and watching Ryan, make sure he doesn't cheat, of course. And then tracking all my guys. It can be Don't easy to pearls. forget That's things occasionally. All right. All right. You're up. Um, I'm down to a bear, a single berry. Uh, anything you can play for free? Um, I've got the shipwright. I've got the innkeeper. I've got the oh, champion, scribble champion. I've got Scribble Stadium. Is there a Scribble Champion out there anywhere? No. Just another stadium. Got the shopkeeper. Pirates already here. Fairy pirates already much here. I can do left anyway. The innkeeper out there anywhere? Uh, no, not yeah. yet. Is that not? That's a juggler. Oh, it is. All, All right. right. Nope. Nothing I can do right now. Well, I'm gonna play this ruins. Discard a construction. I'm gonna get rid of this cemetery. I'm going to get two stone back for it, plus two cards. So I'll take two stone and two cards. All right. Oh my we, gosh. Huh. That's I could have played the king this whole time. Well, then play right now. I'm going to. Every time you play construction, um, you gain a resource. I'll take a res I'll take a wood, actually. Can't believe I forgot about the king. There's my ruins. What does no. this mean here? It, it says any. It can put any animal into it. Into it. Got yeah, it. Any animal can live there. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I can only play one more card, so I better make sure it's a good one. I don't know which one to play. All right. I'm going to take my guy out here and explore. I think I have two Vagabonds. One, two. Yep. So I'll take the Pearl. What is that one? The observatory. the observatory. This is a new location. Pay one victory point and one resource no, of choice to draw two from the meadow and gain a pearl. Dang it, that's not what I wanted. Now, do you, any of your pearl cards oh, yeah. activate? I will play. I'm going to play my other pearl card. Did you have leftover pearls at the end of the game? I don't. You, you, uh, you may copy anybody's adornment ability. I don't think you have any. I out, don't. So that didn't do me any good, but it did play that. Because I'm did just not. looking for ways to spend my cards at this point. Because I still got my workers, and unfortunately, Kira's already passed. So. Now I have a shipwright. Does that mean I get to play this? Yeah, it's you the can other play way. that for free. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get that one out then. All right, so you're going to lock your. Yep. Do you have at least two pearls? No. Okay. It's okay. That goes on the. Oh, you no, know, the harbor lets you play the shipwright for free. Oh, that's I'm backwards, I'm so sorry. no. Okay. I, I miss I miss saw what it's you were okay. trying to do. I'm looking for any way to okay. get back in this game that I can. I can play one card. One, one you still card. have all your guys. Yeah, but I can't. I'm out of cards. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here. I'm going to discard five cards. It's a good idea. Because I can't do anything with these. So there's five cards to get five points. Um, and then I can do it again for four cards. And then I'm out of cards. That's really all I, I can... All right, Kevin Flannery just brought up Picard in the comments, and I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm with you, buddy. What? The trailer looks freaking phenomenal. What does? Picard. We're talking about Picard now? Yeah, yeah it does sorry. Look it just came up. It just, it's just trailers. I have, awesome. I need some pearls. So I have to discard two cards to get the pearls. So I'm going to do this and draw three cards and take a stone. Um, I'm rushing through this a little bit. Oh, I, yeah, I can't go up there because I don't have a. Uh, aquatic guy. So I don't mm. think I have any way of getting pearls, do I? Mm. Not unless... Yeah, because the fairy is specific to the ambassador. Alright, I'm going to go here to my queen. Play card worth three up to for free. This is my last card. Fairgrounds is going to draw me two cards. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm full up. Alright. That's it. So I'm going to go here with my last guy. Discard three. And get three points. Yep. And my last, whatever, I have one card left. That's it. That is Pearlbrook. Um, Not four cards in Journey, but cards with a total value of four. Play a what? what wrong wrong rule. Not four cards in Journey, but cards with a total value of four. Oh, cards with a total value of Oh, well. It definitely, I mean, none of them were zeros. Well, one of them was. But that was a two. I see what they mean. Yes. Oh, total value. Well, let me go back. Make sure you did it right. 
I done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. James, Total you really value. did a lovely one, job with this wonderful two, game. It's just so it's Total so value. wonderful. So there's, that's 5 value right there for the 5. They need to get a 4 value. 1, 2, 3. I might not have it. Oh, whatever this one is. 4. Okay. So what I couldn't do is pay for this one. That was a 3. So I'll put the 3, three back. Because all I have are zeros and one that's a negative. So all right. I'll just dump these for um, resources. One, two, three. I don't think resources are any worth anything at the end of the game. I don't think so. But I'm taking three berries. Okie dokie. All right. Sorry. So that is <coughs> Probrook. Now, one cool thing that Probrook came with uh, is this nifty, awesome scoring yeah, sheet. Yeah, hold it up just a little bit because, yeah. This cool little score pad. It is Fairy Hair's score pad. This competition of Everdell was scored on this. James says it's not the total value for the journey. Either way, oh my gosh, go ahead and I take... thought it was just cards. So anyway, just take your three points. I don't need them. Okay, it's fine. He's gonna win anyway. I guys. thought it was. I thought I was correct. It's just the amount of cards for the journey, not the total value. All right. Okay. Um, points for uh, that are listed on your cards, just the point value printed on them. Okay. I have 26. 22. 22. All right, look, see, not too far apart. All right, then we're going to score any purple cards we have. Um, purple Prosperity cards. Mine says, I only have one, the ship rate. One point for every uh, purple card in my city, and I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five of those, so that's five points. Yep. Four for common constructions. If you can just write a little four, and I'll yep. tell you what the next one is. For each basic achievement I achieved. Which was these. Or basic event I achieved. Yeah, these which none and of each us special got event I oh, achieved. Oh, I had the judge and the queen. Oh, well, uh, you know what? It's fine. Special events. Didn't do any of those. One for each Pearl Brook card in my city. One, two. Thanks for that, Ryan. You're welcome. Three, four. So eight total? Oh, uh, five. Is that, no, no. no that's four. Eight. So eight total. Yep. All right. Points for events. Neither one of us got points for events. All right, journey. I got, oh, I already took my points for the journey. I guess I wasn't supposed to. Mm -hmm. So three, six, nine back. I think or, you do when you do it that way. No, That's it's, fine. there's a spot here for, for them. So. Oh, okay. Uh, nine points for my journey. None for Kira. Point tokens left. I had four. He didn't get, I, I do uh, have did this. spending them? That's going to be yeah. scored here in a I second. I spent my one, yes. I four. <laughs> All right. Uh, point for every pearl, I had one. Zero. And then for wonders, your wonder was worth ten. Uh huh. Mine was zero. And adornments. This one gets me three points. I hope one he does. One for every unique colored card in the city. And I have one, two, three, four. I think I have all five types. So five, eight points for my adornments. And you had to pay pearls to bring those out, right? I paid a pearl for each yep. one, yeah. I don't have those. All right. Math on the live stream. You're right. That's the worst part, isn't it? It is. It's fun for me, though, to watch him struggle a little bit. I hope for you as well. But I appreciate that he does it because then right. I'm not the one having I to figure it out. I had 53 points. I had 22. You had 40. Oh, better than I thought. But I, I, not yeah, bad. Not, not bad. bad. Not bad 53 to 40. I mean, it could have been, it been yeah, a lot I, worse because... I could have really <laughs> taken advantage of the fact that you ended a whole season before me. Yeah, you could have. Um, but I, I was moving too quick. I, I wasn't, I, I was trying to figure out, I really like this little fairy spot, <laughs> and I was just trying all the new things. I like to try the new things. Trying new things is great. Yeah. Uh, I know that we're running a little bit over, uh, we're getting close to, to our, yeah. our time here, but really quick, um, I do want to say like I, I very much underestimated uh, my amphibian. I was mm -hmm. not using him very well. Me like, either. You need to make sure when you go to explore, you don't know what they're going to ask for, but exploring just to get the pearl is fine. But you kind of want to make sure that you have a variety of things because you don't know what they're going to ask oh, for. Oh, for sure. And if I had had the things that they would have wanted when I went there, it would have been a lot different. But Absolutely. That's a good wasn't. point. I didn't get to I just, really maximize that. I love all the new things. I love I, all the yes, new stuff that we sure. that you got with Pearl Brook. I love what it brings. I, I'm excited to explore it further uh, and get 
used to having these new options to choose from and yeah. planning out accordingly. It's a lovely worker placement game, Everdell, and Pearlbrook just makes it even more interesting, yeah. and I really like it. And thank you so much for designing such a lovely game. <laughs> yeah, and thank you for watching. Um, thank you to Starling Games for uh, sponsoring today's show. Uh, with what are, we, what are we giving away today? We're giving away we, both. We're giving away both. Yes. They're going to get Everdell and Pearlbrook? Yes, they're going to get a combo pack. That is awesome. Because you can't really play combo. Pearlbrook without that's, Everdell. That's true. Uh, but it's true. So you're go somebody out there that's watching right now is going to get Win. both of these. That's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, it's going to be so I great. Think, actually. And next week, just be advised, that's why we did the special stream on Saturday. Oh, yeah. We'll be at Gen Con, so there will be no stream next week. But the following week, one of the games that did not get to us in time for that stream will be yeah. on yeah. August 7th, and that is Ishtar. Yeah. Very excited and about like that. I, like we said, we're not going to be doing a live stream from Gen Con like this, but we are going to be popping up on Facebook Close Live. Close up of the Otter Meeple. We'll go and, back to the main screen. Oh, okay. We're doing um, uh, some live streaming from Gen Con, probably from Facebook Live. Or, Maybe to YouTube. We're not quite August. sure what we're going to do exactly, but we will be doing some streaming from there. Uh, I don't know what that's going to look like yet, but stay tuned to our YouTube and our Facebook. So subscribe to us on Facebook if you don't already, or like us on Facebook, whatever, so you see those notifications. Because yep. we're going to do something. For Absolutely. Sure. So, all right. And if you're at Gen Con, um, please come say hi to us. Say hi. We'll see you next week if we're in Gen Con. Otherwise, we'll see you on the stream on the 7th. Bye, guys.